Hi everybody, this is Chris from FluentInMandarin.com and thanks for checking out my video trying to make Chinese a little bit easier to understand. This time I'm going to be talking about how you say no in Chinese. And there are two different words in Chinese which can be used to translate no in English. And the one that you use depends on the situation. 知道 and 认识 So let's look at the differences between these two words and clear this up. 认识 normally means to know of a person or of a place, to recognize something or to be able to recognize. For example, 你认识路吗? means do you know the way? And here, because we're talking about a place, we use 认识. The second example, 你认识多少字? 你认识多少字? How many characters do you know? Or how many characters can you recognize? 你认识多少字? So this is 认识. Another example, 你们在哪里认识的? 你们在哪里认识的? How do you know each other? Literally, you in the plural, at, where, no. And then we have uh, d on the end, which is a grammatical particle. So in this sentence, it means know a person. And when we're talking about a person, when we're talking about a person getting to know them or knowing them well, we use 认识. So the other word, 知道, normally means to know of something, to know about something, or know a fact. So the first example, 我不认识他, So we just had an example with 认识 and a person. So in this example, you're saying that you don't know him, but you know of him. So the first no is 认识. Normally when we're talking about a person, we use 认识. But when we're talking about knowing of somebody, we use 知道. 我不认识他, 但是我知道他. I don't know him, but I know of him. Second example, 你知道飞机场怎么走吗? Do you know how to get to the airport? 你知道飞机场怎么走吗? In this sentence, we're talking about knowing a fact or knowing about how to get to the airport. The fact of how you would get to the airport. So in this sentence, we use 知道. Okay, so here's another example. 我知道一些关于孔子的事儿. I know some things about Confucius. Literally, I know a few or some about Confucius things. So in this sentence, we're talking about knowledge, knowing a fact or knowing some knowledge. Therefore, we use 知道, not 认识. Okay, so I hope this video helped to clear up the difference between these two words so you won't make the mistake in the future. Click on the link on the screen right now to sign up with your email address and get free email tips about Chinese sentences and word order in Chinese. And don't forget to subscribe to this video as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon.